Hey traders, welcome back to today's video. In today's video, I want to talk about why 95% of traders lose money and they make the wrong decisions. So hopefully with this video, you can rectify the mistakes that you are making and not make these wrong decisions. Now, I'd like you to imagine with me that uh, you are now adopting a new trading strategy. Strategy it could be a strategy that you learn from our YouTube channel. It could be some other signal providers. It could be other educators. And for this week, you tried this new trading strategy and it took 12 trades. And the results are as follow. You get three losses in a row, three consecutive losses, followed by four winners, three losses, and then two winners. And the net result is that your equity is down 11%. That means if you put $1,000 in, your account is now at $890. So what do you do? What, what will you do if you have this result? Maybe just take some time to think about it. Do you abandon the system or do you carry on trading? Now, it might sound like a trick question, and yes, it is actually a trick question. Now, if you said that you will choose to abandon the system, then you made a wrong uh, decision, and it's, it's not the wise thing to do. So let me explain to you why you should not abandon the system. Now, you should not abandon the system because at this point in time, you do not have enough information to tell whether the strategy is working or not. Okay, 12 trades is not enough. Okay, you only have 12 trades. It's not a good sample size. But unfortunately, this is what a lot of traders do. They make wrong decisions based on, you know, information such as this. Just 12 trades, just one week of trading and they, you know, they conclude that this strategy is not working and they move on. So what happens is that often I see a lot of traders, what they do is they cut a strategy that is profitable, maybe because that week it's not making money and they decide not to follow it. And a strategy that is long-term not profitable, they decide to stick to it because it just made them money this week. Okay, so to give you an example, let's say uh, our signals this week, they, they lost money. Some new subscribers to our Telegram channel, they are going to go, oh, this strategy, I applied it for this week, it didn't make me money and therefore I should cut it. So that's scenario number one. And then let's say because they lost money, they go on to another signal provider and this signal provider, somehow uh, they were able to turn a profit just this week. Okay, just this week they are making money. But what they don't know is that uh, this signal provider in the long term, they don't actually make money. So what they're actually doing is they are basing their decisions on short-term gains, meaning that in the short term, it seems to be working. But in the long term, it doesn't work. So they are making the wrong uh, decision because they are looking at the wrong things instead of looking at the long-term expectancy. Okay, uh, you should be looking at the long-term expectancy of the trading system, not just the short term. So expectancy is like uh, how much you should make per trade. Okay, it's basically take your average win uh, times the um, how much you, you your average uh, percentage win times how much you make per trade versus uh, your average loss times the number uh, amount of money that you lose uh, when you're wrong. Okay, that's the uh, formula for expectancy. I will not go into that in today's video, but uh, I just want to highlight that a lot of traders, uh, they base their decisions on the wrong thing. They look at short-term gains instead of the long-term uh, expectancy of a system. Okay, specifically, I see them make two mistakes which I want to cover in today's video, right? They ignore the law of large numbers and they do not take into account the exposure to different market conditions or basically give it time uh, give a trading system time before they make a conclusion about whether the trading strategy is working or not. Okay, so by the way, if you're new to this channel, right, I really appreciate if you take three seconds of your time to like this video, right, hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell icon because we create a lot of videos like that to serve you. Okay, we also have a free day trading guide, so make sure you download it if you have not. Okay, this free day trading guide has a powerful strategy inside, step-by-step -step guide, so if you've not gotten it, make sure you get it, download it, it's free and start applying it, okay? That system is proven to work, right? But you need to put in a work. Now, this is mistake number one, ignoring the law of large numbers, okay? Let's, let's just put it out there, okay? Your training result in the short term, doesn't matter which strategy you use, it could be our signals, it could be other people's signals, it is random, okay? You have to accept this. In the long term, uh, your results are not random, but in the short term, your training results are random, okay? And that is why you need to have a sufficient sample size, or otherwise, if you study statistics, okay, I'm not a you know, statistician, I do not know all this kind of complex thing, but I do know that when it comes to trading, you need to have a sufficient sample size. 
Okay, so how do you overcome this uh, law of large numbers? How do you avoid making this uh, mistake of ignoring the law of large numbers? Now, you want to insist on having a sample size of at least 100 trades, okay? Do not make your decisions about whether to stick to a trading strategy, signal provider, or any other, you know, algo or whatever it is without having at least 100 trades, okay? If you're going for like 10 trades or in my previous example, just, you know, 12 trades, this is not a sufficient sample size. You can't conclude anything. And whatever results that you conclude with this is invalid, okay? Whether you choose this or this, both are wrong because you have not enough information to conclude whether this strategy is, is workable or not. Okay, so you should not try to make a decision at this point in time if you do not have enough sample size, right? You do not at least have 100 trades uh, in, you know, in your trading journal or 100 trades that you apply using this trading strategy, okay? But 100 trades on its own is not enough, okay? This is the mistake number one. Mistake number two involves exposure to market conditions. So let me explain, okay? Let me give you an example. Suppose you have a trending strategy Okay, you have a trending strategy and the market is conditioned right now is trending. You, you took 100 trades and uh, of these 100 trades, your account is up 20%. So you conclude that the strategy works. Now, what's the issue with this? It sounds correct, right? I mean, you, you, you didn't have this mistake. You didn't, you didn't ignore the law of large numbers. What is wrong with this? Well, in this case, you didn't account for how the strategy, strategy will perform in a range bound market. Okay, so what happens is that once the market conditions stop trending, it stop trending and goes into a range bound market, you are going to incur losses, right? And because you got your 100 trades, your sample size only in a uh, trending market condition, not taking into account how you perform outside the trending market condition, right? Your data set is not accurate. Okay, meaning that you cannot have a reasonable or accurate uh, conclusion about whether the strategy works or not. Okay, so you need to expose your trading strategy to different market conditions. So you might ask, how do you do that, right? How do you expose? Well, the easiest way to do it is give it time, right? I know that's not the answer you want. You want, you know, you want the answer like, like, you know, immediately, but that's not possible because you need to give your trading system time, right? As the market evolves, as the market conditions change over time, then you want to see whether, um, your strategy is still work, workable. It, do, do you still have a net profit, right? You could give maybe three months, but it is not enough for you to just have 100 trades, right? That, that's the main point of uh, what I'm trying to say here. You cannot just have the large number, you know, just have the law of large number in your favor. You also want to make sure that the, the, the system that you're using is exposed to different market conditions. Okay, so hopefully that is clear. So please do not make uh, these two mistakes when it comes to evaluating a uh, trading strategy, right? You could even be evaluating uh, our own signals that we send in our Telegram channel, right? You could use that, right? But please, okay, do not make this decisions based on short-term results, okay? So remember that trading in the short term is also random, right? Just because you make a lot of money in the short term or just because you lost a lot of money in the short term does not mean that the strategy is profitable or not profitable in the long term, okay? It really depends. You have to see the long-term expectancy of the trading strategy, okay? You need a lot of large numbers, but before, before you know, concluding that uh, this strategy works, you also need to make sure that um, this strategy itself is exposed to different market conditions, okay? You need to combine the law of large numbers and different market conditions in order to make a good uh, accurate decision about whether a trading strategy is profitable okay so i hope uh, this video has been beneficial for you okay as always if you have any questions we love to uh, answer your questions just leave a comment down below okay make sure you hit the like button and the subscribe button at the same time if not thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video